Hey friends, welcome back to the Maple Leaf Barn Flower Farm. I'm Libby and I wanted to share with you some of our favorite tulip varieties from this season. As you consider what tulip varieties to pre-order for this fall, this might help you get a better understanding and a picture of what these varieties look like and how they did for us in Zone 6A, just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. The first one I want to focus on is a double early foxtrot. The lightly ruffled blossoms of the award-winning double early tulip called foxtrot is a chorus of pink shades, deep rose colors at the base, which move up to the petals to join a lighter pink tone with white highlights. This was the first variety to show up this season and it started blooming around April 5th. I was a little disappointed that the stems were so short, but I think that's more to do with the kind of weather we had this winter than the actual variety. That being said, despite having short stems, they were stunning and I sold bunches of these together to my mom's group in addition to adding a few stems into subscription orders or other orders I had. Next up is my favorite for this season. It's called Double Early Columbus. These large cupped peony shaped blooms are breathtaking with pointed raspberry petals edged in cream. The eye catching novelty that's great for flower arranging. It's also just a fun pop of color. We love this one so much that we decided to order some pre-chilled to grow for Valentine's Day 2024. This color just can't be captured by the camera. It's incredible hot pink and it's variegated with those tips bringing a lot of interest and texture. It's a double tulip so it ends up looking very close to a peony once it's fully opened. Our clients love these and they will be coming back for our subscriptions next year. I also really enjoyed the double late dream touch. Just like Columbus, it's variegated tips, making it lighter at the tips and then darker purple in the center of the tulip. It's a double tulip and it opens up beautifully like a peony. It does say that it's a double late, however, with the winter, it showed up just a couple of weeks after the double earlies and um, it felt like all of the tulips were coming all at once. I'm really happy with the varieties that I chose for 2023 because they are interchangeable and able to combine with other colors and textures very well. Some of the bouquets had more pinks and others had more of the darker colors, which we'll talk about in a minute. They all go well together and that just proves how important it is to me for next year and the following years to have a cohesive color combo when purchasing. I want my customers to know that if they purchase a spring subscription or come to me for their spring bouquet needs, they're going to get a designer feel with cohesive color combos. Combos that make sense and that are cohesive and unique to our farm. Vanola enchanted us with the subtle blending of pinks and white with green highlights on the outer petals. They grew to be a tall 12 inches and had large full blooms. Moving on to Black Hero, it's velvety double flowers with a maroon luster right atop a long, strong stems. And these are very long and I was thoroughly impressed by that. These are incredibly long lasting and good for design. Their blooms are pretty small, but eventually open up very nicely into a larger looking peony type bloom. However, comparing their fully bloomed open size to let's say Columbus or Dream Touch, they were at least a couple inches narrower, so their radius wasn't quite as large, uh, but they still brought a ton of drama and excitement to bouquets. Finally, the black parrot, one of the more petite flowered parrot varieties with a striking maroon eggplant coloring. Uh, the narrow petals with deeply serrated edges have this refined 
quality and it brings a ton of drama and more texture to the bouquet. Our clients were amazed by the parrot texture and the color. Again, adding their variety in with the black hero, with some of the pinks or purples, just made a stunning arrangement and everyone who received these bouquets were thrilled with how different they were compared to what you could find at a floral shop or a grocery store. One thing I'm trying to do with my farm is to provide locals with the opportunity to experience flowers that they've never experienced before. So if that means it's a unique specialty tulip that are healthy and strong with unique colors and textures, or it's a ranunculus with that are typically out of the price range of most local people, um, and they typically are only used for rare occasions like a wedding, you know, I wanna give them that opportunity to experience it. I like the idea of being able to share those experiences with specialty flowers with people at a better price range with longer lasting flowers since they're locally grown as opposed to being flown in from a different country or a different part of the United States where it costs more per stem and the stems don't last as long. Hopefully sharing these varieties with you gives some inspiration for the next tulip season or answers a few questions you had on colors or height. I'd love to hear in the comments if you plan on adding these varieties to your pre-orders for the 2024 season. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.